I'm with Tiffany. Hi guys. So we're gonna go get our nails done. Well, she's gonna go. I'm just gonna watch. Right. She's not getting it. <laughs> she's a I'm broke. Okay. <laughs> but anyways, um, right now we're at um Popeyes. I don't know if I've ever said this, but the Popeyes in our area is so flippin' hood. Like, but yet we keep coming here. So they don't never have chicken. Like, why are you open if you don't have chicken? <laughs> But yeah, anyways, I will see y'all when I see y'all. Walking into Tiffany's job. This is her giddy up right now. This is mine. <laughs> okay, where we go? So let's go in here so she can embarrass herself at her job. We got you. You missed, you missed it with your camera. You should have had your camera I, out. I was gonna, that was going to be obvious. So that's why I didn't pull okay, it out. Y'all take your pictures and then move your little self. I like that. <laughs> I like that. That's so cute. I have more in the car. Okay, so as y'all saw, we just, well, you, you missed the part where we surprised her. But Tiffany was so surprised. So basically her supervisor, which was in, with, in this whole thing, basically told her that she had to come to work really fast because of something. So we came here thinking, you know, it was nothing. And the way how I made it seem like I had to get out the car with my camera was that I was going to record her looking crazy in front of her co-workers. So, anyways, we successfully surprised her. Now it's time to party. Good morning, y'all. Happy Friday. It's hot as, oh my gosh. It's actually more cooler outside than it is in my mom's house. My mom's AC is busted. Um... She has a ceiling fan in her room and then an extra fan. So that's where her and Mason are sleeping. It's way cooler than it is in my room. I have a ceiling fan, but I don't feel like it's circulating properly. Y'all, it's so hot, like, <laughs> I can't even, like, look. It's like no point of even showering because the minute you come out the shower, you're like blazing with sweat. So anywho, it's 10. I'm actually kind of late right now. I'm supposed to meet Tiffany at her, um, at her reception venue to help her decorate. Hold on, y'all. I'm doing too much to have one arm to drive right now. Oh, yeah. So I'm supposed to meet her at her reception venue to help her decorate and then come back. Now, the crazy thing is, I don't, and come back and get dressed. I don't even think I'm going to um, wear makeup to her wedding because, unless I do it here in my mom's car, because it's, y'all, it's 85 degrees in my mom's house. 85 degrees and then on top of that like I can't even sleep in my room downstairs in the basement because there's just boxes and everything y'all know my mom's still trying to get everything I can't turn really with my arm trying to get everything together since you know the incident happened in her house so it's not all well put together and there's like I can't sleep downstairs in the subject but yeah and then I just need to um run a couple of errands i might just do that when i get to jersey so i'm debating if i should leave for jersey tonight or just go tomorrow morning um uh, my cousin's son my nephew he's turning one on sunday so we're just going to celebrate and go to sesame place which i'm really excited about because i used to love that place as a child i grew up in trenton so it was literally 20 minutes tops from where I used to live and I'm just so excited to take Mason I kind of wish Kendall was here not kind of I wish Kendall was here but it's okay I'm gonna just record a lot for him but anyways I'm rambling I'll see y'all later okay so I'm here and I guess the bride is late but that is to be expected anyways I realized when I'm recording especially um these past couple of vlogs and everything i feel like it's like mini clips so i don't know how y'all feel about long clips and all of that like me just rambling to y'all i'm gonna just try it out you can comment down below drea let that go or yes we want more things because i feel like i'm just telling you here and there what's going on and i'm not really like i don't know i of course i'm always trying to better myself and everything so vlogs will always be better y'all i cannot wait until we are officially in atlanta and everything is unpacked and ready to go like I just this is just a lot it's a lot and I know somebody might probably say then why did you come to Jersey the thing about it are Maryland and Jersey technically because we're not gonna be as close North Carolina 
the part of North Carolina we live in is about five and a half, six hours away from my mom. So that's drivable. Atlanta is not drivable, y'all. As you can see in the vlogs of me traveling, I had to do so much just to get back here. So we wanted to make sure that we see our families and everything before we left, you know what I'm saying, to spend some time because once we go, we're really not coming back up like that. Initially, we were planning to come up here for Mason's birthday, but we decided, you know what, we have a house, we can just do the party how we want to do it. Um, I definitely want to decorate Mace for Mason's party, you know, do a lot of DIY things. So the house is probably a great place and we can grill and everything. We don't even have a grill. We can grill and everything, get a little mini pool for Mason, um, get a bounce house, things like that. I mean, she only turns one once. Well, I was about to say, I'm probably going to be up here in September Whenever Tiffany's baby shower is, if I haven't mentioned Tiffany is pregnant, she's six months right now. Um, oh, Lord, she just texted me. Um, I'm probably gonna come back up here in September. I think her baby shower is gonna be in September, so I'll probably just catch a quick flight, come for like a weekend so I can help out on Friday, Saturday. Also bring Mason so she can spend some time and then just head back. But we plan on having Thanksgiving and probably Christmas down at our house. So if we do come back up in between, you know, those times, it's just gonna be for little quick weekends. I told y'all we're no longer driving back up here. So yeah. So right now, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how the heck Mason and I are gonna get home. Oh Lord. So I'm thinking about renting a car, but the biggest problem with renting a car is because I'm not gonna be returning it to the location that I picked it up from that is going to be a lot more money so let's see right now I'm trying to do all the fixings right now to see what it is because we don't need a big car we need like the smallest car save you on gas see literally if I got an econ economy car it's literally $49.96 $49.96 for a day and literally I'm gonna pick it up as soon as they open and Mason and I are gonna get down there before that location closes but because I'm tra I'm getting it from a different location is literally two hundred and eighty eight dollars. So how are we gonna get home, y'all? Kendall's like check Avis. I'm gonna check Avis, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the same thing because it's not coming from the same location, y'all. If y'all have a better solution, let me know because we need to figure this out how we're gonna get home. So this is the before. We're about to decorate. The maid of honor here. <laughs> I'm done. What you gotta say? Congratulations, sissy. I'm so proud of you. You only get married once, so Tyler, don't fuck up. Cause we're gonna beat you up. I'm done. But yeah, I'm so happy for y'all and I love y'all and just be blessed and favored in the Lord. Amen. Amen. It looks so nice. Designed by Tiffany. Should I start calling you Tiffany Brown now? Designed by Tiffany Brown. When you changing your last name, shorty. Don't yeah. waste six months like Don't I did. This week. <laughs> Cause I ain't about to explain what took me so long, but <laughs> had to do this. So we just got done decorating and now I'm about to go to the house to pick up my things. Mason and Mason things. Cause we're gonna just go to Tiffany's place. Sorry if y'all can't see me. We're gonna go to Tiffany's place to get ready. Um, I'm so excited. Words can't express how happy I am for my best friend. Um, it's crazy. T the funny thing is, T not funny, but both of my maid of honors are both oops, are both my matrons of honor. So I don't even know how that's gonna play out now, but oh well, I'm probably just gonna still keep it maid of honor. Um I'm just happy for Tiff. I'm happy for Tyler. I'm gonna try not to cry. And then I don't know if I mentioned today, today's also her gender reveal too, so that's awesome. I cannot wait. <laughs> wait, did it already happen? Here. Is everyone ready? Mm hmm. All right. We are gathered here in the presence of these witnesses for the purpose of uniting in matrimony Tiffany, Nakia, Vincent, and Tyler Dwight Brown. The contract of marriage is the most solemn one. Not to be entered into lightly, but fall either. You take to be your lawful wedded wife. You promise to love and comfort her, to honor her and to keep her in sickness and in health, 
in prosperity and adversity, and forsakes all others, and makes it to her who the Lord will go to her. Ready for the rain. So, oh my gosh, it's been chaotic. So after we left the restaurant deck to decorate or the venue, whatever, we went to my house to pick up Mason and our things. And then we went to go get some chicken because we were hungry. And then um, rushed to Tiffany's house to get, oh no, it's the ambulance. Where'd it go? Oh, to the hospital does right there. To go, um, we rushed to Tiffany. Oh Lord, I have something on my screen. There we go. Rush to Tiffany's house for her to get dressed and then finally we got there. The one thing I don't like about downtown areas is the whole nowhere to park. Luckily the parking garage was only 50 cents um, for an hour. And um, so any whore, as you saw, she got married. I'm so happy for my best friend. I love her dress. I made that sash, y'all. I did that. <laughs> Mason, I got rained on terribly and I had to, y'all, I'm like I'm failing as a as a single mother here right now shot honestly and I've always had my respect for single parents because you know my mother was a single mother shout out to y'all because I am truly struggling to carry my daughter carry a diaper bag a purse or what I'm struggling it's not as easy as getting out the car and carrying her diaper bag in my purse or whatever and then Kendall's handling Mason so for those of you who are single parents and you're watching me honestly shout out to y'all y'all the real MVPs y'all the real MVPs okay but any whore on the way right now to the venue, um, the lady who is bringing the gender reveal balloon is there. Um, I wish she didn't make it so close to call. Maybe she said 2.30 or something. But anyways, I will see y'all at the venue. Three. What? <laughs> she said pop it at the bottom. Yeah, that's what she said. Yeah, that don't look like the <laughs> hey y'all so it's much later yes my wig is back here <laughs> um i'm actually editing this vlog right now um i'm trying to put up two videos right now schedule them one for saturday one for sunday this is going up on sunday i just you know we're going to jersey i know we're going to be busy and i don't want to be behind y'all when i tell y'all i'm tr i'm really trying to be serious especially when we move you know i'm gonna find a day where i'm gonna record probably it's gonna be like on a weekend and then schedule those videos out with the exception of vlogs i don't know what it's going to be yet but i'm really i'm really trying to get more consistent on my channel because this is ridiculous but anyways y'all today was awesome today was beautiful i am so 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 happy for my best friend and for her husband and they are happy little boy so there is something I wanted to say because the clip you just saw is a balloon so they got this lady who makes gender review balloons and the balloons were supposed to look like her clearly it did not and y'all know I'm the one that met the lady there my biggest problem with what the issue was was she made the the part where the um, balloon white so especially when she was coming in and it was light outside i immediately saw that it was blue in there and then as people started to come in you can tell how dark whatever was in there was so everybody already knew it was a boy so we had to put napkins over it if you saw it properly in the clip but i just kind of wish it was a black if she made it black or brown something that could have concealed it better but anyways, yes, they're having a little boy. And I cannot wait to see my nephew. He's going to be here in October. I'm secretly hoping that him and Mason have the same birthday. Or his older brother, because his oldest bro other brother is born in November. So we're going to wait and see. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this vlog. I love y'all so much. See ya in the next.